Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Please ignore the mess in the back. We've got one of Kason's swings that we had bought in the back, and it's just a hot mess back there. We got a lot of his stuff still just kind of like crammed back there because right now, he's got so much stuff that there's not a lot of room to put everything out. So, in today's video, we're actually going to be doing a new house tour slash room tour. Um, I don't know if we even really explained it very well, like our whole situation, because whenever we left California and went to Florida it was such a busy time and me being pregnant and so sick I, I never have actually gotten like physically sick and thrown up this pregnancy but I felt like I was going to 24 7 during the whole first trimester and some of the second trimester as well so doing like a room tour and stuff for you guys it was just kind of kind of difficult but now that I feel better we've got everything situated we're good so little backstory real quick my parents bought a condo on the beach a few years ago their condo was a rental unit so people would use it for vacations and stuff and my parents still lived in Tennessee but then they decided to sell their house in Tennessee and move to the beach in the condo right around that same exact time is whenever I found out I was pregnant and that's when Zach and I decided we were like okay we can either stay in California with no family no help um, I had some kind of like medical issues come up during or I technically before my pregnancy but it I guess escalates during pregnancy um, so I wanted to be close to family just in case something happened because I just don't think mentally I could have done it just on my own like I needed family there and we also have family that lives like an hour and a half away from the beach so it just kind of made sense to move and then eventually moved back to California. So whenever we moved, we had planned on staying with my parents for just a couple of months and then getting our own place because we thought we would love it here. Turns out, no offense mom or dad, they already know this, but turns out we hate Florida. <laughs> I know hate's a strong word, but we strongly dislike where we're at. We just don't like Florida in general. It's humid, it's hot, the weather is horrible here. It's so unpredictable. And then like hurricane season and stuff, it's just kind of scary thinking that my kid will have to go through that stuff and tornadoes and tropical storms and hurricanes. And I don't know, we just don't want to stay here permanently, so. Instead of us getting our own place, we decided to just stay with my parents until we figure out where we're going because we still don't know if we just want to be in a different part of Florida or like do we want to be near Tampa or Orlando? Do we want to go back to California? Can we afford California? Like it's just a lot. So that's another reason why we haven't really done like a whole tour because it's just been so iffy and then we had to switch rooms with my brother because his room was like literally three times the size of our small room downstairs we couldn't fit in it it was horrible so we ended up switching a few weeks ago they surprised us whenever we came back for christmas with justin my brother switching rooms with us so we have the big room now upstairs next to my parents and so that's helped a lot like mentally i feel like mentally clear now and there's that i was telling them about like Whenever we moved here to Florida, we thought we were only going to stay here for like a few months and then get our own place, blah, blah, blah. But we ended up not liking Florida, so we're trying to figure out what we want to do. Now we're just going to stay with my parents. It's just a whole hot mess. We're a hot mess express. Yes. So, anyway, we're just going to take you guys along for our day. I don't know what all we're doing. Zach's got a dermatology appointment. He's got to get the, his moles checked out. I got a mole right here somewhere. Right there. Well, he's got a few on his back, too. Yep. So... <laughs> If you have a mole that looks like it's got a black dark circle in the middle, that's when you want to get it checked yeah, out. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, I have really bad skin. I've had a couple of pre-melanomas cut off of me uh, whenever I was in California. So whenever I saw some of Zach's moles, I said, it's time for you to get it checked out. So that's what we're going to do. I made him an appointment. Um, so we'll take you guys along for that. And then we're going to do our room tour. It's not anything too exciting, but they are on the beach. So we'll show you guys like our view and everything like that but let's get on with our day okay we just made it to the dermatology office and zach is right here getting ready to get a scan say hi baby hi baby hopefully everything looks good but um they made him put on a gown just in case he has to get a couple of biopsies done and i took a picture of a couple of moles so i'm not too sure if they think they're concerning or not but better be safe than sorry so let's see what the doctor says So 
we just got out of Zach's dermatology appointment and he only had two moles that we have to keep an eye on, which is really good. Um, she didn't feel like she needed to biopsy them today, so that is wonderful news, but I'm just gonna kinda look after them, make sure they don't grow or change any weird colors. I tried to record, but it was kinda hard because there were so many people in the room. Just First time I've been in my underwear in front of four girls. Yeah, he was a little nervous. <laughs> Yeah, they had like two medical assistants, and then they had the doctor, and then it was me in there, and it was just too much going on, so I was like, I just um, won't record this, so. But yeah, that looks good, and now we're gonna go home and give you guys a room tour. Okay, so we just got home. I'm gonna give you guys a quick room tour and kind of show you guys everything and what we plan to do with the room. So just a reminder, this is a work in progress and we just switched rooms with my brother around Christmas time. So just keep that in mind. It's not, it's not done yet. <laughs> okay, let's start on this corner. So this was originally in my parents' room and then they moved it in here with my brother. He used it for just a couple of different things, but what we've done, and Zach will move this stuff, but if you didn't know, Zach has been selling Pokemon cards online and so he keeps a lot of his inventory in here because we have boxes all over just full of Pokemon cards. So for now, he's gonna keep this stuff in here until it gets closer to the time that Kaysen's gonna be here. And then we're gonna do something with this. <laughs> and then in here we have just like books and stuff until I can get a shelf to hang up for Kaysen. And then the next two drawers, we just have his clothes folded up. Um, there's some in the closet too, but just easier to fold them up and then this is where his bouncer is going to go it's still in the box we have to put that together but you know we obviously still have some time i'm only 22 weeks pregnant so we're just kind of setting stuff like where we want it pretty much and then this we ended up getting off of facebook marketplace for 30 dollars. can't beat it we got a new tv and then Kaysen's bassinet my parents got him this look how cute it's the halo bassinet the deluxe one and then they got this as well. So cute. I'm obsessed with it. But once Kaysen's here, that will go over there with me. Ignore my pregnancy pillow. I know it's ugly, but I have to have it. And then over here is this little nook area. We're going to make it Zach's, uh, he streams games. And he still has his stuff in boxes, like his whole setup. So right now, that's where my computer is, where I edit all the videos and stuff. But this will be Zach's little gaming area where he streams. And then this is a pile of just junk. <laughs> this plastic thing, we're gonna move into the closet and then put a changing table right here. I think that's gonna be best. Well, we're gonna do a dresser, but I just don't think we're gonna have room. So right here is gonna be the changing table and this plastic thing full of just like snacks and junk. It'll basically just be put in the closet once we clean that out. And then over here's my side of the bed. Like I said, Zach's still got some of his like gaming stuff. Just kind of strode everywhere, which is just how it's gonna be because my OCD, it's killing me, but I have to keep reminding myself that it's gonna be okay. Um, the closet right here, I don't even wanna show you guys the underneath because it's all boxes of Zach's. Every bit of this, look at all these just boxes, boxes, empty box, box, boxes down there, um, a couple of clothes and just random things like bottles and stuff like that and the diaper bag. We're just kind of keeping it up here right now until we can figure out what to do with all this stuff of Zach's. It, pretty much Zach has taken over this room and Kaysen's taken over the room so mama has no room for anything. And then other side of the closet is just clothes, nothing special. And then our bed. We ended up getting this comforter. It's like almost like a velvet feel. We got it at Walmart for like 60 bucks, I think. And I absolutely hate Zach's my pillow. He picked the ugliest pillowcase. So I'm gonna get like a white pillowcase or something else where it's not just like boy plaid. I don't know, I don't like it. And then this is where we have to keep our shoes because you know, Zach's taking over the whole closet with his boxes. Zach's side is super messy. I can't ever keep it clean. He burned himself the other day, so I have to keep aloe by his bed now because he keeps burning himself while he's cooking, but that's okay. And then the bathroom. The only thing I don't like about this, whenever you turn on the light, the fan also like automatically comes on with it, so it's really loud. I don't even know if y'all can hear that, but this is the bathroom, nothing special. I wanna get a new shower curtain. This was my brother's. So I plan on doing that. 
and that's loud so we're gonna turn that off but yeah this is our room and we still have like I said in the cart a swing and stuff we gotta figure out where we're putting it there's just boxes and junk just like everywhere and it's driving me insane I'm very uh, OCD about certain things and just as little as like this not matching and then this drives me completely insane and then my pregnancy pillow whole different story it's just all a mess but so I'm actually in our room right now and then right across the hall is my parents bedroom this way so this is their bedroom and bathroom and then you come out here this is the view right there is the ocean all right guys that's gonna be the end of the room tour hope you guys enjoyed the video ashley's not feeling good so i'm doing the outro if you want to follow us on instagram and subscribe if you're new otherwise we're out peace